without question, one of the most loved athletes in strength sports globally. The guy's just, just well made, as simple as that. I'm Mark Felix, I'm 55 years young, and I'm one of the world's strongest men. I've been doing strongman for over 22 years now. I just love it, you know, it's, it's nice to be in the sports. I mean, coming up with all these great guys and I'm up there with them, I'm, I'm pretty happy. And I started when I was um, 37 years old. And then I've been to like 16 more strongest man now. Yes, I'm still here. I just love competing, I love the sport. I mean, I love to stay active. People always ask, when you're gonna retire? I will never retire. As long as I'm fit, I'm active, why would I you know, just keep going? Myself and Matt competed at World Strongest Man a number of years together, Britain's Strongest Man. I loved the battles over the years, you know. Um, and, it, and he's just got such great staying power. As far as Strongman's concerned, he's, you know, one of the guys that has just got such a great record for always performing at every show. Just, just just, unbelievable, really, when you think of the age he is now and he still can take on the best in the world. I still, I mean, breaking records at my age. When you stop, then what? You stop growing. You don't want to stop growing. You just have to keep growing. It's okay. It's in the books. How much have you got? 120, Mark Felix. You are all over the 120, 25, 26. 27, it's a world record at 28, and there it is! He's been around so long, but, you know, he's seen people come and go in the sport. He's seen great athletes come and go in the sport. You know, he's seen he's seen world champions come and go, and he's just, like I say, he's just had this staying power where he just he keeps there, he keeps this level of strength. Uh, and, and at some of the events, he's still world class. My first strongest man was in 2004 in a car park and it was it was slanting. <laughs> they even, the car park was even slanting. <laughs> but you know, so even doing the farmers work, you're going up and you're coming down, it's like it's just mental. I mean we did it anyway because I mean once you into strength, it doesn't matter where it's take you, you would go there. I mean when I started there's no way I would have think I would get someone to program me. I mean there's a blueprint now for the strong man and strong man training. So you don't have to learn the hardware anymore. So it's it's more advanced now. I don't think I've seen anything like Mark in the sport of strongman, to be honest with you, or in any sport for that matter. Someone that can actually compete for, you know, 20 years at the top level. And he got into it in his 30s, remember? You know, most people are finishing their sport when he started strongman. I mean, I always get teased with those answers growing up as a kid. When I even walk in a ship, people are always just, Jesus Christ, you got to So somebody used to like hide them away from people. In the strong man world, it's a bit more, it's a bit better now. You know, so I don't mind showing people my hands. It does help a lot with, the, with a lot of grip movements, even though it's help a lot because of my hand back. You, you also have to train it as well, so train your grip. If I didn't to train my grip, then I don't think I would have got all the record that I did get. Like a rolling turn, the, the hook on his hole, the dinny stone. You train so hard, you train in the gym, and you know, I mean, everybody expects you to win or break a record. So when it's, it's like when you did that, when you break that record, that's when everything is just uh, explode. Rolling turn, I, I was in America when I did that. Um, it was just amazing. I was so high, I barely had enough strength the next day to compete because I lost so much, so much adrenaline rush. So I, I managed to recover and, and did it. But yeah, it's the high you get from it. If you don't have that mental strength, you're not prepared. That's, that's a big thing. I mean, your body want to do it. You're big, you're strong, you're healthy. But if, you don't, if you're not strong mentally, there's no chance of it. doesn't have an off season. When I ring him up and say, Mark, do you want to do this show? He always says yes, he never said no to a show. He always says, yeah, I'm up for it. 
So he's always in shape. Some of the guys, oh no, I'm not, I'm not quite ready yet. Where's Matt? So yeah, let's go. You know, he just wants to compete. And you know, when when the uh, when you have the walkouts at Giants Live, Mark always gets the biggest cheer. Even when you've got current world strongest men there, he always gets the biggest cheer because people just you know see him as as, as the uh, the grandfather of strongman. If you like, you know. Because of my age and everything like that, I mean, when I go to the gym, I do a lot of warming up you know, and do those of mobility and stuff. I you know, really get into heavy weight and stuff like that. The younger guys, they could go in, they could just go straight in, do heavy weights, but you could still get into It's very hard to get your personal best without warming up. I mean, if you look at the event training, your first run or two run might be like 10 seconds, 11 seconds. And then you go back and do the next one. Your third run, you might even knock it. Your third run out, off by like two seconds. You might end up your last run like eight seconds. So that's where the warm up really good to warm up. I think Mark's secret is he eats very healthy. He keeps very fit. When we're away at World's Strongest Man and all, all the different shows, there's some buffets where you can eat whatever you want, and you always see him. He's always eating good food, plenty of fruit, and not too many carbs and. He, he, he does look after himself a lot, and also he works very hard. I mean, people have got to remember, Matt's competitive strongman, but he's still he's still got his own plastering business, and he physically works every day. So he's a very fit man. One of the reasons why I still am working is some, it's more to do with like mental side of it. I didn't like that the way I was feeling after coming back from these big shows and. So I just go straight back to work. Even when I come back from the world, so my last competition, as soon as I come come back, the following day I was back to work straight away, so I could just stick my mind. His body just doesn't seem to fail him. He's had very little injuries for 20 years of competing, very little, there's a couple of shoulder problems. Uh, I think he tore his bicep once and that's about it. There's, there's been very little injuries, um, which is amazing. He, he, he just, he just uh, looks after himself so well. My grandma, she used to, she lived till she was 106, and she um, she always been active. Every day she used to go to the garden. The garden wasn't close by, the garden was um, two miles away, and she walked there and back every day, as long as I know her. If you want to live long, stay active. I mean, to make sure you get enough rest. I mean, eat clean, you know. I think, you can do what? If I could do something or say something to make someone feel good about yourself or good for someone like this like yeah let it be you know? because I want to see a place I want everyone to succeed. I've known Mark for, for over 20 years it's been a privilege to have him competing with Giants Live and the way he's conducted himself over the years has been impeccable the way he trains the way his body stood up to the test of time but mainly, you know, the friendship that I've had with him over the years has, has uh, meant a lot to me. He's, uh, he's, he's a living legend, simple as that.